Spacesuit gloves are perhaps the most important piece of technology developed for a spacesuit, and in this exhibit, they are literally the centerpiece of our display. They're all made of different materials from different time periods, and they have different needs in the sense of preservation. But the most important part is putting them upright off their wrist disconnect because it allows air circulation in the glove and the materials really need air circulation when they're on display. So I kind of had an aha moment when I was at my desk and I had a slinky and when I saw that slinky it reminded me of the vortex of space. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to display them on a helix and, and to make that also rotate and how that could inspire people and basically bring the art and the science together. One of the most difficult preservation issues we have with gloves is the Gemini time period. The materials they used were very sensitive and are not aging well. So the exterior nylon, which used to be a light cream color, has darkened to a yellow due to light damage from display and storage over time. The other problem we have with these gloves is that the aluminum alloy wrist disconnect, which is at the bottom of the glove, exhibits advanced signs of aluminum corrosion. And it's our job as a conservator to try to remove and stabilize that corrosion to allow the gloves to be studied, displayed, and preserved for a long time. So here we have Kathy Sullivan's EVA glove from her EVA spacewalk. It's the only glove in the collection that's a shuttle period glove related to in a historic spacewalk. They in incorporated this really unique fabric on the palm to give her more grip while she was using the gloves to support her work outside the shuttle. So this is a really interesting glove that we have in the collection. This was from the manned orbital laboratory program that was used by the Air Force but never came to fruition for space use. This glove has unique uh, materials in it in the sense that they use natural materials which was not used often in the space gloves and on the palm to give the astronaut more grip they incorporated shark skin and they used stainless steel to create little fingernails so the astronaut could actually have more grip and tactile sense while he was using the glove. So this glove, which is the actual EVA glove for, uh, that the Russians used on their spacesuit, it's called the Orlan glove, um, is unique because the Russians used totally different materials than the Americans. And they tended to go with natural materials, which don't fare as well in preservation because they break down. This interior palm grip material is a natural type of rubber. It has little dots on it, which add, aided in the grip of the astronaut to do their work but they're starting to pop off. So in the lab, we looked at this under the microscope and we could see that even though there were wear marks, um, this is nothing that we would repair. We had to lay down the little dots with a safe chemical to keep the rust from popping off on display. This glove is my favorite glove in the collection of gloves that we're displaying because it really shows the technology and innovation that was going on during the shuttle period to keep evolving the gloves to match the needs of the astronauts. And in this glove, which is an inner glove called the restraint glove, you can actually see all the materials and sewing and markings that the seamstresses use to put the glove together. You can also see up at, by the fingers the importance of, even though the gloves were made to fit the astronauts, they still had to have um, a tweaking with the sizing. So these little strings hanging down and the little aluminum, blue aluminum clips up here, show an example of where they were actually able to size the fingers even more precisely to create a glove that fit the astronaut very closely so they could do their work. And I just love that it shows all this on the outside of the glove. The importance about the preservation of displaying something like this is to leave as much of the history and the materials alone when you display them because we don't want to do anything to the materials that would change how they look or make them look more neatly for display. This looks like a little bit of a mess here, but that's actually how it would have been used inside the glove.